channel Science Learning Gateways. Today in this video we are going to discuss class 9 Social Science Geography from Karnataka Board Chapter 26 Mineral Resources of Karnataka Question Answers. The explanation of the chapter I have already uploaded in my channel you can go through that and today we are going to discuss the exercise question answers of the chapter Mineral Resources of Karnataka and this is for class 9 students. So without any delay let's start with the exercise. Before starting guys, I have humble request from you all that if you like my explanation, the notes and the way of my teaching then do like the, do like the video, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends also. So let's start with the fill in the blanks. The first fill in the blank is Kudir Muk in Karnataka is noted for dash ore. So when we have read the chapter in the explanation section I have told you that in Kudir Muk there is one there over there in Karnataka iron ore deposits are there. So Kudir Muk in Karnataka is noted for iron ore deposits. The best quality of iron ore is dash. So we have two types of iron ore, magnetite and hematite. Magnetite ore is of high grade. That is, it is the best quality and it accounts for 63% of the iron ore in Karnataka. So the answer is magnetite. It is the best quality of iron ore. The second, third question. Sandur in Balari districts has dash mines. In Sandur in Balari, which mines are there? Manganese mines. And where is manganese used? It is used for making the alloys. The metal that is produced from bauxite ore is, so the most important metal which is produced from bauxite ore is aluminium. And aluminium has different uses, like it is used in electrical industry, it is used for making aircrafts, different types of uses we have for aluminium. Next we have question number 5, that the deepest gold mine is, so in Kana you know that Karnataka is famous for the gold mines and the deepest gold mines in Karnataka is Champion Reef. It is the deepest gold mine in Karnataka. Now we have the next question. Now we have question answers. So these are the long and the short question answers which can come for 2 to 3 marks in your exam. The first question is why is Karnataka called the land of gold? Because it is the only state in India where where gold mines are there, where golds are where gold deposits are there. So that's why it is called land of gold. So let's have, read the answer first. Karnataka occupies the first position in the production of gold in India. Right? It occupies the first production in the production of gold in India. It produces 80% of the total gold in India and hence Karnataka is known as the land of gold. So the answer is very easy. The first point you have to remember is that Karnataka is the occupies the first position in the production of gold and second point you have to remember that in India in India, 80% of the total gold is produced in Karnataka. So it is known as the gold, land of gold. Next question. Question number 2. Which are the important minerals available in Karnataka? So when we have started the chapter in the, in the introduction section, we have read that the important minerals which are available in Karnataka are iron ore, gold, manganese, limestone, copper, bauxite, chromite, mica, asbestos and granite at least 5 to 6 you have to remember you can remember iron ore, gold manganese, limestone, copper bauxite next, which ore is used as an alloy, so which ore is used as an alloy, manganese ore it is used as an alloy for the preparation of stainless steel For uh, to it is manganese is used to increase the hardness right, so manganese is the ore which is used as an alloy next question Name the places in Karnataka where iron ore is available. So see, iron ore deposits, they are available in Karnataka state. After Orissa, in India, after Orissa, Karnataka is the second state where iron ore deposits are found. So let's have a look at which places in Karnataka iron ore deposits are there. So iron ore is mainly distributed in the districts of Balari, Chikamangaluru, Bagalkot, Chitradurga, Tumkur, Sivamoga, Dakshin Kannada, Uttara Kannada and Kadak. These are the important places where iron ore deposits are found. So you have to remember the names of these places. Balari, Chikamangaluru, Bagalkota, Chitradurga, Tumkur, Sivamoga, Dakshin Kannada, Uttar Kannada and Kadak. Now, now let's, have, let's have a look that at e in these districts at which places the iron ore deposits are there. So Balari has a very high rich deposits and they are mainly found in Hospet and Sandur areas. In Balari districts, in Hospet and Sandur areas, iron ore deposits are there. 
There is iron ore deposit in Hosa Durga and Sasalu of Chitra Durga district. In Chitra Durga district, these in these places you have iron ore deposits. Hosa Durga and Sasalu. A meg a of Bagal Court district, Huliyara and Chikka Chikkanaya Kanahali of Tumkur district. Kumsi Sakkana Gurudda and Sidrahali of Shiga Muga districts etc. If you don't remember this paragraph, at least you have to remember this paragraph that at these places iron ore deposits are present in Karnataka. At least it learn the name of Balari, Chikamangaluru, Dakshin Kannada, Uttar Kannada, Tumkur and Gadak. Now we have question number 5. Which district is an important producer of bauxite? So from bauxite, which mineral? Bauxite is a mineral from uh, from which which metal we extract? We extract aluminium metal. So which district in Karnataka is the important producer of bauxite? So Belgavi district in Karnataka is the important producer of bauxite. Just remember the name B for bauxite, B for Belgavi. Now, we have the next question, question number 6. Name the important gold mines of Karnataka. As we all know that Karnataka is known as the land of golds. So, what are the important gold mines in Karnataka? So, there are four important gold mines in the Kohler gold fields. So, what are the names of the four important gold mines in Kohler gold fields? They are Nandi Durg, Nan Nandi Durg, Uri Gaum, Champion Gold, Champion Reef, Mysore Mines. These are the four important gold mines in Kohler gold fields. Nandi Durg, Origom, Champion Reef and Mysore Mines. Among these, Champion Reef is the deepest gold mine which we did, already did in the fill in the blanks. And you have to remember the name. Champion Reef is the deepest gold mine. Hulti in Raichur district is the biggest gold mine in India and it is still in the working condition. Other gold mines are closed but Hulti in Raichur district is the biggest gold mine in India and it is still in the working condition. Now the last section from this chapter is the match the following. So Supa is a place in Karnataka where manganese ores are present. In Hutti we have the gold mines and which it is the biggest gold mine in India. In Kumsi area we have iron ore deposits and in Kanapur we have bauxite ore deposits. So with this we have finished the chapter question answer. I hope you all have understood all the question answers. If you have any doubt, any queries, you can comment your question in the comment box so that I can help you out. So next uh, next chapter also I am going to upload it soon along with the question answer. So stay tuned to the channel. If you have not subscribed the channel, do subscribe it and click on the bell icon so that whenever I will be uploading a new video, you will get the notification for that. So thank you for watching.